Steven here, Bush Boy. I was just checking my trap line, small game trap line. I have two dead falls and two rat traps. And I was thinking, um, you know, what if I had to survive with everything that was on me? What I had, I had my bait, which is peanut butter, two small apples from our apple tree for bait, my pellet gun, and eight bullets, my knife, ferro rod, and that's it. So, I just um, finished checking the third trap. I was walking through the field, and actually while I was checking the traps, I was thinking, what if I had swept everything on me? I was thinking about the advanced class um, at Dave Canterbury School. And then, so I'm walking, and then I see a bird. Now, what I don't understand is doves are really small, <coughs> really small. And two songbirds will will equal one, or maybe even just one big songbird, equal one dove. So, I saw a bird, and I had my pellet gun loaded. So, I shot it once, and it died. Now, lots of people would say, why did you shoot a songbird? It's only two bites. To test my skill level, um, I will eat it. I'm going to do a vid on cooking it. Uh, I just wanted to discuss survival and how you're going to feed yourself. Uh, eight shots. If I kill a bird with one shot, and each are two bites, two times eight is 16. That's a meal right there. Plus with what I get for my traps that day. That's, that's a lot of meat for a day. Here it is. I shot it right there. I'm gonna skin it out. Um, that was to test my skill level. Um, I just um, set four traps out today, two rat traps, two deadfalls. I'm gonna see what I can catch in a week. Um, but if I got all that meat, and I get to eat all that, get to eat all that, then, you know, I'm going to be eating pretty good. And this was done with a Crossman Quest pellet gun, uh, open sights, no scope. What, what, what kind of gun would I take um, in a bug out situation, a survival situation, when I was just purposely bugging out or something like that? Our deer up here are very small, um, and in a survival situation or a self like situation when you're hungry, you want a shotgun because you'll give a spread and you'll get your game rather than missing it. Um, so I like to use a 410. All I have is a 12 gauge. So, you know, I'd like to use a 410, uh, but I don't have a 410 uh, right right now. Um, I have a 12 gauge, single shot 12 gauge, just like the one Dave Canterbury really likes. Um, the reason I don't like the 12 gauge is because the ammunition is so big and that I don't need that much slug power to kill our small deer. Because one box of 25 is about that big. Now, where's my backpack? Oh, my backpack's uh, it's right over there by my other campsite. Um, but I could probably store maybe uh, three, probably two in the space it has. Uh, and then, so that would be so that would be 75. Yeah. Yeah, 75 for three boxes, um, 100 for four boxes, and that's a lot of weight. Plus, I got to carry all my survival gear, um, my traps, my knife, the five C's, when well, knife is part of the five C's. Um, you know, I got to carry a lot of stuff, so that's a lot of weight. And 100 rounds is only going to last me a certain amount of time. 410 are probably about that big round right there and they're so easy to store and I, if I have a slug in there I can easily take down the deer 
Well, anyway, uh, the bird I got, I'm going to skin him out right now. Um, so I got this bird. I'm going to show you guys how much meat I, he has on him. Um, you could probably use the feathers for lures. Um, so that just was to test my ability. I'm going to see if I got anything in the morning. Um, the gun I have right here is the AR-7 survival rifle. Um, if I got a scope on this, which I can, um, I'll take this because I don't have a 410. And the ammunition is very small. Gonna get every last piece of meat on this. Um, I was watching a survival show, and they stepped on the wings and they pulled out the breast. The problem with that is, is you lose some of the meat, which is pretty bad. Um, see, it entered here and exited there. So those pellet guns are pretty powerful. It's a thousand FP FPS, I believe. There's so many songbirds around when you're in the bush or woods um, that they're just easy pickings. I could skin this guy, but they're, it's, you're losing some calories with the skin coming off. Get my knife. Get feathers on my camera, but that don't matter if I need them for lures, they're right here. And this feathers, if you get a lot of them, you can make a pillow out of it, obviously. Uh, Native Survival, he has an awesome channel. He's talking about cattail and feathers, how they're good insulation. Which they are. And I can use this as bait for like canines and raccoon. I just want to show you guys how much meat this guy has on him. I check his liver to make sure he's healthy. His liver's not right there. And that pile of guts took out. This guy's pretty small. Liver's nice and healthy. You want to take the liver for spots. So, um, so the meat we got, about a bite and a half. So, tomorrow I'm going to cook this up for you guys. It's evening right now. So, thanks for watching. Check out the other videos on my channel. You might enjoy some of them. I'll wipe off my hands before I touch the camera. It's actually an iPad.